The first uh, thing you need is your is your drug. This is just a, a vial of water, basically. Um, but is your medication that comes in this uh, small cylinder? It typically comes in about this volume, about five cc's. Uh, we'll talk more about this when we do the model. You need your your syringe, which is just what it sounds like, something to draw the fluid. Uh, it usually comes with a needle. It's right on the top of the syringe. I don't know if you can see that well there. Uh, and then that's about it. Um, can move on. Uh, the alcohol uh, prep pads uh, are just what it sounds like to, to keep the area clean. So in terms of steps, and I'll demonstrate this in a minute, um, to uh, prepare the syringe, obviously you, uh, you remove the cap that's, that's protecting the needle, and then you uh, basically get the syringe ready, so you load it back to the dose that you're supposed to be using. Typically, it'll be like um, 0.4 cc's, and then you're going to put the, the needle into the, the vial, uh, and then you're going to uh, turn the vial upside down so that the air goes uh, to the top, and then you're going to basically um, Fill the, uh, the syringe with the medication, just aspirating back. Um, and then you push out any of the bubbles, and then your, your dose is ready. Uh, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this here in a second. Okay, and then in terms of the injection itself, uh, first you're going to swab the area with the alcohol prep pad, just what it sounds like, allow it to dry uh, naturally, and then you're going to insert the needle. So in terms of location, uh, this is again showing on the right side of the screen the cross section of the penis with the urethra at the bottom and at the top is where all of the nerves and blood vessels are. So those are the spots that you want to avoid at all costs. So you basically want to come in on the side and you can cheat up a little bit. Uh, so it says one to three o'clock, but anything even three o'clock even is fine. The main thing you want to avoid on the bottom side is the urethra which is pretty easy to, to avoid. So once you've picked your spot and you've cleaned it, you're going to put the needle um, into that spot on the side of the penis. And then you're, okay, you have to pick a spot where there's no veins and then uh, push the, the plunger in to inject the medication. Okay, take the needle out and then hold some pressure on there for a couple of minutes so that the little needle puncture site uh, doesn't bleed. And by then, uh, the medicine should be kicked in. All right, all right. Everyone can still hear and see me. I'm going to turn my camera down a little bit so you can see the demonstration. It should be really straightforward. It should be really simple here. Uh, basically, you just need the three things, your drug, your syringe with the needle, and your penis. So first thing with the needle, you're going to take off this orange thing. This one is protecting the plunger and this one is protecting the needle. I want you to see how small this needle is, you know, relative to my, to my finger. I've got pretty big fingers, so this is a, a tiny needle that really um, should not hurt. And then you take your, your medication, okay, and you wanna hold it upside down so that the air goes to the top. Now, sometimes these, uh, these vials come with a little metal seal over it that you just have to, to pop off. So then now you're looking at, uh, the metal with the rubber uh, in the middle that you can that you can puncture. Uh, and basically what they'll recommend is that you load up your syringe to with air to the dose that you want. Let's say it's 40 units or 0.4 cc's. And you'll basically puncture that little rubber spot. You can push some air into the vial. You don't really need to do that step, um, but it can just help make the aspiration a little bit easier and then you just aspirate back. You can't really see clearly on this video, but some of the fluid from the uh, vial is going into my syringe. Once I got the, uh, the dose that I want, I'll just basically flick it to get some of the air out. Okay, you can then take it out. Now this vial doesn't leak when you take it out. You're done with this. I'll flick this to get any more air out. Might push it a little bit to get any last little air drops out. Okay, now I've got my dose that I want. And now here's the, the penis. So again, the urethra runs at the bottom and the nerves and blood vessels run along the top. 
So you're going to want to come uh, along the side. You can cheat up a little bit towards the top. So the recommendation is between one and three o'clock. And you can do it anywhere along the shaft on either side of the penis. Uh, you only have to inject one side. Those two corpora cavernosa are connected. So you don't need to inject both sides. So you'll pick your spot, you'll clean it up, you'll let the, um, the medication dry, and then you'll basically put the needle into the side of the penis. Okay, you'll deliver the medication. Just pushing the syringe here. Okay, you take the syringe out and you hold pressure. And this stuff works um, automatically. It's not like the Viagra where you need to have some sort of uh, stimulation, you know, to get the process going. You know, you could be sitting here talking politics. If I inject your penis with this medication, it should go up. So uh, it's very easy uh, and straightforward. There's not a whole lot, uh, whole lot to it. Uh, we can demonstrate that again. Again, you take your needle, you puncture the vial with the medication. You can aspirate the dose that you want. Okay, let's say we're going to do 30 cc's here. Okay, disconnect. Get your air bubbles to go to the top of your syringe. Push the air out. Okay. Take your medication, put it into the side here. Oh, your area, your penis, is, you cleaned it with the alcohol swab. You pick your area between 1 and 3 o'clock, where 12 o'clock is the top and 6 o'clock is the bottom. So just kind of along the side, push the needle all the way in, and then just push the medication in. Take the needle out, hold pressure for a minute or two, and you're done. Uh, so I don't know what else to, to talk about. Oh, I guess uh, disposing. Uh, you don't need to recap your needle. Just throw it into uh, your needle uh, container, and uh, that should be that should be it. You put your your medication back in the in the fridge, and just mark when you first punctured it. You got 28 days from then, or 60 days from when you first got the medication uh, to um, to use it. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.